the study group with UK KFA here today basically to mark the fact that 66 years ago today at Pamunjong the US signed the armistice agreement with the Korean People's Army uh, and basically conceded uh, defeat in Korea uh, and Korea once again is in the news, the uh, situation is hotting up and so you know it's very important uh, we increase uh, solidarity uh, with people's Korea because as usual the media is uh, distorting and fabricating uh, what, what, what's going on DPRK have simply responded to the fact that the US have broken uh, the agreement uh, that they signed in Singapore on the 12th of June 2018 that they're actually breaking that agreement by going ahead with military exercises in August. Okay, they've changed the name, but you know, just because you rebrand something, uh, you know, it doesn't mean to say that the nature of uh, is changed. You know, we all all know that you you can put a different label on, on a bottle, but it, it can be the same drink inside. These exercises are going ahead. DPRK has warned it will consider resuming uh, tests of the intercontinental ballistic missile and uh, of the uh, nuclear test as well. And on Thursday morning, DPRK successfully tested uh, guided tactical missile.